So everyone, it looks like 2025 might be the year we get Apple's most ambitious iPhone yet, the iPhone 17. Apple itself has hinted at this, but we've heard similar promises before. However, the buzz around a slimmer design seems credible, and that's what I want to dive into today. Earlier this year, there were talks of a potential iPhone 17 Slim arriving in 2025. Then, John Prosser suggested Apple might even name it the iPhone Air, and honestly, that would fit perfectly within Apple's product lineup. We already have the iPad Air and the MacBook Air, so a sleek, slim iPhone Air seems like a natural addition. If we think back, the original iPad Air was significantly thinner than previous models, and the same goes for the MacBook Air. Imagine that level of thinness applied to an iPhone, Apple could be aiming for a device around 5mm thick. Just for comparison, the latest iPad Pro is 5.1 to 5.3mm thick. So, there's a good chance we're on the verge of seeing a remarkably thin iPhone hitting the market. So, what would this new iPhone bring, and how might it shake up the lineup? Well, from what we've heard, it looks like Apple is planning to phase out the Plus model entirely. Since the iPhone 14, we've seen the iPhone 14 Plus, then the iPhone 15 Plus, and now the iPhone 16 Plus this year. However, the Plus model hasn't been very popular, so Apple seems ready to replace it with a new Slim or iPhone Air model. The standard iPhone 17, much like the current iPhone 16, will still be part of the lineup. Only the Plus model appears to be on the chopping block, set to be swapped out for this new Air model. One thing to keep in mind, while this Air model may feature Apple's latest, sleek design, it doesn't necessarily mean it'll be the best iPhone overall. Due to its ultra-slim build, it'll likely come at a premium, though it may not offer the largest display size. We'll dive into pricing details later. Speaking of the display, we've seen plenty of leaks and rumors, particularly from sources like Jehu and Ross Young. They predict that the upcoming model will feature a display size between 6.5 to 6.6 inches. This is noticeably smaller than the current 6.9-inch display on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, and even less than the iPhone 16 Plus, which has a 6.78-inch display. The exciting news is that it looks like Apple is finally introducing a promotion display for the iPhone 17 and 17 Air, along with the Pro and Pro Max models in 2025. This means that all of Apple's flagship phones excluding perhaps the SE will finally have a 120Hz display. It's about time Apple stepped up in this area. We're also expecting a few other changes on the screen. One significant change is a smaller dynamic island, likely because Apple plans to reduce the size of the face Idaho sensors. This will make the island resemble a smaller pill shape on the front. Additionally, the front camera, currently 12 megapixels, is set to be upgraded to 24 megapixels. This is the first update to the front camera since the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max, which introduced the original dynamic island. With this upgrade, the front camera will have 24 megapixels, and the face ID will be less obtrusive, making it a fantastic improvement. The rear of the iPhone likely only has a single camera lens. You might wonder why Apple would do this, especially when the iPhone Pro and Pro Max models have triple cameras. I believe this choice is intentional, highlighting that this is an iPhone Air. Some might argue that a single lens seems to limit, especially with features like spatial vision in play. It's still unclear why Apple has made this decision, perhaps they have found a way to achieve spatial vision with just one lens. For now, the information suggests it will feature a single lens, but this could change as we get closer to the launch. I anticipate that this single lens will probably be a standard 48 megapixel wide sensor. While this may evolve, it should still provide excellent photo quality. However, if you're looking for the best photography experience, the iPhone 17 Pro and 17 Pro Max would be the better options. You're probably curious about what's under the hood of this iPhone. It'll most likely feature the standard A19 chip, not the A19 Pro, which is exclusive to the Pro models. So, we can expect an A19 with upgrades over the A18. If you've seen the A18 in action on the iPhone 16 or 16 Plus, you already know it packs serious power, so this is definitely good news. I also believe this iPhone will include around 8GB of RAM to support Apple intelligence and all the goodies. At the bottom, we're still expecting a USB-C port, but I don't think it will reach USB 3.0 speeds 10GBPs anytime soon. Remember, this will be an Air iPhone, not a Pro model. The goal of this phone is to be slim and efficient, and that's its main purpose. Next, you're probably interested in the price and release date. Based on Apple's history, they usually announce new iPhones in September, often in the early part of the month. Unless there are major production delays, we can expect the new iPhone to be unveiled then. So, while it's still a ways off, we'll likely see other new iPhones and maybe the Apple Watch 11 around that time. Now, about the price this new model will replace the Plus version. Given its slim design, I expect it will be priced similarly to the regular iPhone 17 Pro, which starts at $999. Because of the extra work that goes into making a thinner phone, I don't think it will be $100 more than the iPhone 17. Instead, it will likely be priced about $100 higher than the iPhone 16 Plus, so around $1,099. 
It won't be the cheapest iPhone, but if you want the best features, you might still consider the thicker iPhone 17 Pro or Pro Max. That's the latest news on the new iPhone Slim or iPhone 17 Air. Are you excited about this phone? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more Apple news, reviews, and comparisons.